All right, guys, I just got finished recording part number eight. I'm going right into part number nine because I'm excited to see what's going on, man. Like, Josh is the killer, or not killer, but he's just a psychopath. Um, did he kill Jess? I don't think he did. I think that was just an accident. Um, so I don't know. I'm fucking excited to keep going, dude. That's that's exactly what I'm going to do. And here comes part number nine. I don't know if this will be the end. I don't know if this will be the last one that's uh, in the, the episodes of the thing, but we'll see. Josh. <laughs> Josh. How does it feel? Do you enjoy He's obviously all losing those his fucking that mind. My sisters got to feel once one year ago. Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No. Nope. No, no, no. They're gone. Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? God, I Jessica feel so bad for him still. I feel like he's just fucking pay, you dick. Losing his mind, obviously. Jess, Mike. I don't remember killing Jess. Christ. Oh god. I still don't think that he actually oh, killed god, Jess. I think that was just a mishap. You know what I mean? Oh, and there's the flamethrower, dude. Oh, what a terrifying thing to be trapped like that. All right, here we go. I'm still kind of messing with the audio, so if you guys see like pauses every once in a while, that's what it is. Don't do it. What the fuck is that thing? Oh shit, what Whoa. is that? What? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh boy. Looks like little fireworks or something? What the fuck are those? Alright. Oh, they're flares. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, I'm. Alright, well, that flamethrower dude seems to try to be helping us. What the fuck was that thing right there? I'd imagine those are the thing that grabbed like Chris and like snapped the uh, the tower wires and all that shit. I think there's a whole lot more going on here than just Josh himself. So I'm excited to actually finally get to see what's going on with that. Do I say I'm excited enough? Because I don't feel like I say that I'm excited enough. I feel like I need to say it more often. Romantic postcard. Hey Billy, I had a good time. That's what I think of that. It's this up here. Come on. Another structural collapse. Don't feel like this was the safest mine to be in. I feel like they uh they definitely <laughs> closed the mine down for good reasons. <laughs> Obviously, this mine was not built very stable. Then again, it's old too, so like that fucking carts and shit fall down all the time. What's this over here? Another totem. I love getting totems, actually. At first, I was like, ah, these are kind of pointless, but they really do help you with some shit. So, if you guys remember, we had that death totem where it looked like M got shot in the eye. The only person I know that has a gun right now is Mike. Um. So I don't know if like he is gonna end up doing something or what. And then again, Mike's watching Josh right now, so I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking enjoy that. Okay, okay, this is gonna be the way. This is about to be tighter than. Fucking shit. Shit. Run! <laughs> Fucking run! Oh god, these are coming up fast as hell too. Oh shit, that thing's creepy as hell. Run, BB. Uh, go right, go right, go right. We're going left and set. We're going left and say. 
That scared the hell out of me too. Go, 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 go! Pull it, pull it, pull it, and roll! Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. That thing ain't done with you, dude. That thing's coming for the elevator. Maybe. Maybe we got away. God, my heart can't handle this fucking game sometimes, bro. to nowhere. Oh, fuck. Don't stand next to it. That thing's gonna bust through there and rip your fucking brain out. Duh. Duh. Oh, did I get away? Oh, that shit coming. Oh, that didn't even get eaten by whatever the fuck that thing is. Alright, we need to run again. I know you're fucked up a little bit. Shoulder might be broken. Ass might be a little sore. It's time to go. It's time to go. That thing really did chase us all the way down there. Did you hear that squeal at the end? Fuck that. Alright, guys. Sorry, I was still messing with the audio a little bit. Hopefully I can get this down sooner or later. I don't know when, dude. Whatever. This whole fucking series I've been messing with the audio. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I'm just trying to get everything set up. I'm no pro YouTuber, I'll tell you that. Crap. What now? Are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. Okay? You look totally wonderful. Where the fuck is, uh, Matt? Yeah, where's Matt? Did you guys want off? A monster is in Wait. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There, there was this, this thing, whatever it was. I'm asking you could relax. Josh was messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. Yeah, what happened? Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it... It fell, the whole tower just fell right into the mines. Whoa, 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 what mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand, the tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and... There was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found Oh it. my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Yeah, why Listen, would you be in, lying about that shit tower, right now? There was, there was a radio, and I, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. What the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. Could be fucking uh, Matt. Good.
Oh, uh, I think it's the flamethrower dude. The flamethrower dude ain't bad though. I'll cover the door. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> you do the door. I'll do the gun. Damn, he kicked the bitch, too. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with him and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. Very true. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? So that those monsters are called Wendigo. Wendigos? Let's hear them out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. I agree with that. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. See, he knew there was a monster. I need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Till dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. That's true, dude. You left him to die no, pretty much. To him. Anything else? What What do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. Hey, going alone is suicide. I agree with I that. Don't be fucking... Get down to the basement. Be safe. Chris is retarded. Again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. I agree with that. It looks like he's been down the road a couple times. It looks like he knows what the fuck he's doing. I'm going to just hang out with him and make sure that nothing crazy happens because, uh, you know, I'm a badass. I don't want him to feel too bad about himself. <laughs> this is the end point yeah. the thing you want to do. <laughs> I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come yeah. Safe. Oh, yeah, I will, baby girl. I'm trying to smack. Oh, oh shit. We need to hurry some. See you soon. If Chris dies, I'll quit the game so and I'll never play again. You're the expert on these things. Uh, what's uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Oh uh, fuck, we're in it already. I need to shake the hands out, man, because I have so, a feeling shit's gonna get real fast. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? 
No, it'll slow it down. But how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Hmm. It's gross. Well, that ain't creepy as fuck. Well, what are these things like? Let me go this way real quick. Crazy, unpredictable, or I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, yeah, sure. They adhere to some patterns, like any animal or human. But, like how? Like they've got schedules. <laughs> they only hunt at night. Yeah, it's fucking nighttime. Why? The sun probably hurts them or something. That's true, I wouldn't ask either. I'd just kind of be like, eh, yeah, you guys hunt at night, I'm yeah. fucking staying inside. Pro Wendigo tips. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they would be able to smell me or something. <laughs> They'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. Sight is based on changes of movement in their field. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's kind of a good thing to know. Damn, see, he's gone that fast. Damn it, what happened? Wendigo got him. Oh, he's yep. gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the way to go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. Yeah, I agree. We gotta go. And he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So we'll watch that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Josh now. Fuck Josh now. It's time to leave. I ain't doing that shit. I ain't getting fucking skinned. I ain't getting eaten. Fuck you guys. I'm outie. Can I go in here and look around there? Ooh, there's something over here. Oh, jeez. Huh? At least I know it was fake, huh? What a fucking crazy situation to be put into, man. Like, obviously, Josh, I don't think he knew that there's these crazy ass things up here, these Wendigos or whatever. Oh, crap. Um, but he did choose a bad mountain to fucking do it on. I can tell you that much. I didn't move, he moved! Run! Go! Now! Now! That's bullshit! Damn, he almost flamed our my ass. Oh, I'm in the shit now. I wish life could slow down like that more often. Look at the shit. Man, I'm not ready for a quick time like this. I'm gonna die. Chris is gonna die. At least they give you plenty of time to like aim and shit. Run, you motherfucker. All right, come on. Ah! My heart is racing so fucking hard. Oh, I made it. Who's that bitch? Chris! Oh my god, what happened? My heart is pounding right now. Oh, my heart's fucking... Dude, right now my heart's pounding.
Oh fuck, it's got Josh still. Mm. Oh my god, we made it. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, yeah, we all need to just chill. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he didn't, didn't make that make shit. No. What happened? The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. God, dude. This game's okay. fucking with my mental. The doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. I fucking agree. we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? <laughs> you can wait. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mines. Fuck what? that. I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. I think it's feeding ground and shit down yeah. there. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Mike, you're a fucking OG, but I don't know if that's a good what idea. What is all that? So that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. And. I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. Breach. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel. I still don't think I moved at that one part. That pisses me off. See? I wonder if that guy That's with the phone there could have lived. I saw this when I was down there. Or if he was meant to die. Um, um, what is, huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's nothing, it just, it, oh no, it, it no, bit no, me and... bit you? What bit you? The, the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really, it's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really, it's, it's not that bad. Em? If that thing bit you. I I know what you're thinking and I'm fine. Are you? But that yes. she could turn into a Wendigo? Let's check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. Damn, that's yeah, that's fucking insane. Other. Remember he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're going to turn into one and then you're going to turn on us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Calm the fuck okay, down, Ash. With us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. Yeah, that's true. See you guys need to calm the fuck down. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Are we just going to kick her out? Doors right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Damn. Whoa, okay. Shit's Whoa, turning Mike. hot fast. Calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't My do that. God! I'm really sorry. I'm gonna shoot her. I should get these. Yeah, I ain't shooting her, dude. That's fucked up. Fuck! I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck! Life's getting crazy. I'm not gonna be happy about that shit if she lives, man. You Anything weird. You guys know what to do. 
Yeah. Why? No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. Oh my. I'll be back soon. Yeah, M's not gonna be happy. It's gonna be a lot of tension in this room. I thought that that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? No, we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Am I gonna play as Ashley? Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or this I. This guy's a little OCD. What the hell? Or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism when the human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, where he has nothing for days, or not, has not eaten for many days. The Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpse. I've seen it happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be sated. Which means satisfied. Uh, and then the change begins. The eyes turn and become milky white. Then the teeth become long like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones there was a tribe that lived in these mountains the Cree their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice the tribe respected the mountain There's a lot of history to this would you shut up I'm trying to read <laughs> respond at the mountain or respect the mountain and all the animals which lived in the mountain or lived on it and the mountain became sacred the Cree every animal became sacred also the Cree believed it was bad luck to harm any animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere in 19 or 1893 the miners arrived and they found later they found 10 and ladder traces of radium I don't know they mined deep into the sacred mountain the Cree say that the mountain creed out of the spirit was released Oh, God. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is like a hunter with a... That because the Wendigos are mutated... Did you shut humans? the fuck up? When they hunt us, <laughs> they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Oh, she's freaking out. Okay, the Wendigo sees movement. It's like a hunter, like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you keep totally still, when the Wendigo will not be able to see you... The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Even bullets will not pierce their skin. Though a shotgun will keep them at bay because the Wendigo is mutated from a human and knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It's the best weapon. Fire and envelopes them. I'm not the best reader in the world. <laughs> Burns away their skin and makes them weak. But they but try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit in the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had further who had no further use for them. One by one I caught those who had infested the mountain. There may be defenses, shaman's road of the rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them, totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs and I have tested them out on the mountain. They work. They keep the Wendigo at bay, not entirely, but enough, but inside the buildings they do not work. What is this? Hunger cravings, skull and ribcage found miles apart, who, who survived the collapse, relatives found nearby. I don't know what that is. Cree legends say that the Wendigo crows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Damn, now I kind of feel bad. Uh, they should feel bad. Oh, no, 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 What? No, no. What is it? What does it say? That you guys are assholes is what it says. Oh, 
Let's reassure. It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? She's about to be pissed. Um, so she'll be okay? It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that he fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She's gonna bitch slap me. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Please, Emily, it. please just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> Woo! I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Woo! Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> Should I start using that? Is that a good is that a good thing to say? Understand the palm of my hand. B -b -b -bitch. Oh, Joshua. You should have listened to me. Dr. Sill's office is really going downhill, man. Really going downhill. I don't know which is worse. Actively triggering events that lead to someone's death. Or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Damn. Paralyzed by your own self centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Damn, he's isolated. That was his worst fear, I think. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Damn, man, that's bad, dude. I feel bad for the little motherfucker. At the same time, why the Joshua, fuck did you do that stuff? Why did you hurt them? He did. I'm just gonna put they hurt me. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they, and they were, were sorry. sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. True. I'm so sorry. It's gonna be too late. Let's He's gonna get pissed. That it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's going to end it for episode, what, number nine? Is that what this is? Love you guys so much. Dude, it's just getting better and better. They made this game so well. Like, it just keeps getting better. I don't know. I don't know, man. Have I lost anybody yet? I mean, is Jessica really dead? Is she still alive? We didn't actually see her dead dead. We just saw her fall down the elevator shaft. I don't know. I know M's good, Chris is good. Where the fuck is Matt? Is the real question. I guess we'll find out these next couple episodes. I love you guys so much. Pa pa pee.